Hi, I'm Ryan Stevenson, head chef for the Calabar Chocolate Academy here in Belgium. Exciting news for chocolatiers and chefs, look at these babies. Molded bonbons and tablets made from Ruby RB1 chocolate. The first thing you'll notice is their reddish colour, a unique Ruby chocolate. This is a colour that comes straight from the Ruby cocoa beans without using any colourants whatsoever. And then there's a the taste, an intense fruity taste with fresh sour notes. The same thing, we owe it to the Ruby beans, there's no fruit flavourings involved. Now, what can you do with this chocolate? The answer is a lot. I recommend you use it as pure as possible, for instance to create moulded chocolate products. Now how does moulding work with the Ruby RB1? Well let's check it out. You can mould Ruby the same way as you would any other chocolate. Tablets, bars, pralines, anything goes with Ruby. Now always make sure the moulds you use are perfectly dry. If necessary, heat them to evaporate any remaining water. And clean them from water stains, fingerprints or any leftover chocolate. For my ruby pralines and tablets, I often use transfer sheets, indicating this is ruby chocolate. It helps my customers understand that this is real ruby chocolate. In this type of magnetic mould, it's pretty easy to insert the transfer sheets. Also, make sure to preheat the mould slightly before pouring in the chocolate. The temperature of the mould should be around 20 degrees Celsius to avoid temperature shocks. This way you will avoid the chocolate setting too fast and showing cooling stains or a grey dullish look afterwards. Now it's time to fill the moulds with Tempered Ruby RB1. I use a piping bag for that. Nicely fill it. And then pipe the Ruby RB1 into the mould cavities. Tap it to avoid air bubbles being trapped in the chocolate. Then I pour out the excess chocolate. Clean the mould by scraping off the surface of the mould, nice and clean. And now leave the chocolate to harden, first at room temperature. Make sure the heat can escape, otherwise the chocolate cools too slowly, which might cause grey, dullish stains afterwards. You can mould any type of chocolate, tablets, pralines, just apply the same method. Once the chocolate feels hand dry, you can store the moulds in a fridge at 16 degrees Celsius for a few hours until the chocolate has hardened. The great thing about Ruby RB1 is that you can pair it with a wide range of ingredients. Since Ruby has a typically intense fruity and sour taste, you can combine it with flavours like matcha, wasabi, almond, ginger or caramel. Inclusions also work well. Dried or candied bits of red fruits, for instance, really accentuate the taste of Ruby RB1. For this filling, I'm going to flavour a white chocolate ganache made of cream, white chocolate, sorbitol and cocoa butter with matcha tea. Just add the matcha tea to the taste and get the right colour, like this. When the filling is around 22 degrees Celsius, I transfer it into a piping bag and fill the chocolate shells nicely. Always leave about 1mm of space for closing the moulded products afterwards. And don't spill any filling on the edges of the shells. Otherwise, it could be hard to close them and might cause leakage. Tap them well to avoid any air bubbles sitting in the corners or on the surface of the chocolate shell. Repeat the same action for the other moulds. And add some dried raspberry cubes. It's always nice to enrich the texture of a bonbon. It's like a little surprise inside. And finally, before closing the mould with tempered chocolate, quickly heat the surface of the mould with a heating gun. Fill the mould again with tempered chocolate. Tap the moulds to get rid of any air bubbles. Close the moulds with transfer sheets. It's a nice surprise when you see the bottom of the chocolates. Plus it creates a perfectly smooth and shiny surface. Slide the scraper in both directions on top of the mould to press the transfer sheet onto the surface and remove excess chocolate. Then leave to harden the fridge for a couple of hours at 16 degrees Celsius. And there you go, beautiful, shiny ruby pralines and tablets.